Welcome to the Core Connections Podcast on YouTube. Hey, I'm Erica Zeal. I'm a nutrition coach, Pilates instructor, fashion worker, mom of three, creator of the Core Rehab Program, Core Athletica, instructor training programs, and the Nocta Fitness Membership. And my Core Connections Podcast is designed so that I can help share information with you to help improve your quality of life. So tune in to this episode. Today's quote of the day is, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. So welcome to today's podcast where I'm going to dive in and talk about how your mid-back really is so important for your overall health and wellness of your body, um, specifically as it relates to how your neck feels, how your shoulder feels. You know, if you are someone who experiences headaches on a regular basis um, and migraines, these are some things that have come about and these are things I've dealt with with clients when they walk in my door and I can see and maybe you're not even excessively you know shoulders forward but you experience maybe the just annoying aches and pains maybe it's just the shoulders maybe it's more again the migraines and so many times instead of just taking a prescription or a pill to help to get you through that there's things that we can do with the alignment of our body, with the biomechanics, the way that we move our body, the way that we hold our body. And so that's today what I really wanna address. And I wanna teach you several things that you can do to help improve how your neck feels, how your back feels, and obviously it all comes back around to our core function as well, right? So we spend so much time of our day sitting, um, you know, if you travel a lot, um, at a desk, on our phone, and so all of that is constantly overusing the muscles and the fascia through the front of our body, through our chest, through our shoulders, and we're looking down a lot, right? So we all have heard about that, you know, where head, the head's forward so much. So I'm gonna turn to the side if any of you wanna pop on and watch on the YouTube, I will show some of these that I'm gonna talk through as well so you can see just a little bit more detail if you wanna see specific movements. Otherwise, if you just cue in and listen to what I'm saying, you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. So if we get the forward head and the rounded shoulders forward, right, number one, it's really hard for us to activate our core effectively. This is a big piece when I'm really teaching how to properly activate your deep core. This is why posture really, really matters, okay? So even if you are someone who doesn't get aches and pains, headaches, migraines, things like that, um, just because you don't get them yet doesn't mean it's not something that could happen down the road. So this by being super kyphotic with the rounded shoulders forward, head forward, maybe even get some pinching um, in your cervical spine up near your neck. And those are things that we need to be aware of so that we can work to lengthen them out. So if we're constantly just, you know, rolled forward with our shoulders, and so right now, if you're listening um, or watching this, it's fine, whether you're sitting or standing, I want you to think about this for a second, is if you just you know go into a really relaxed, just shoulders rounded, right, and head, just maybe drop your head down or look at your phone or something, you know, so that you're like in that position, and now let's bring awareness to what's happening, right? When you think about, okay, where do you feel some pain in your body? Do you feel some discomfort? Um, now try to activate your deep core. Try to find that like pelvic floor connection and lift. It's really quite hard, right? So if we think about, okay, let's let our shoulders relax. And this is a big piece that I bring up quite often um, is about shoulders. We've been taught a lot of times to like jam those shoulders back, really jam and draw those shoulders down. Well, we don't want to be doing that either, right? So we've got the shoulders up and forward positioning, or we've got the like super soldier, like shoulders back and shoulder, shoulders down. Well, the problem with that then is then it's like our upper traps almost have to work too hard, or they're constantly trying to pull those shoulders back up because we're constantly over depressing our shoulders. So I want to retrain this thought process that we all have about our shoulders basically and our neck positioning. And that is, I want you to start thinking about your shoulders as they're just, they're just a, an extra appendage of your core, right? So I talk so much about core training and all of that. And so when it comes to our shoulders, instead of moving our body and moving our neck and whatever it is we're doing and we're using our shoulders all the time to do it with, we need to actually start letting our shoulders just chill out. <laughs> when we let our shoulders just relax and think about because our shoulders and our scapula just relaxes on top of our rib cage, 
we want to actually bring awareness deeper into our body, into the rib cage, okay, and into our mid back, okay. So when we think mid back, and this is a cue I do for a lot of my females, is think of that bra line area. That's the area that we need to really be thinking of to hold up our upper spine, to hold up our neck, and to hold up our head. If we're constantly trying to just use our shoulders and our neck to hold our head up, it's not serving our body very well. It actually can be creating a lot of issues in the body, a lot of tension in areas that we don't need it, and the energy doesn't flow as well, and then that's also not helping you to activate your core efficiently, right? And can lead to aches and pains. So we wanna say bye-bye to all those aches and pains, migraines, headaches, and all of that. Um, and while this might not always solve 100% of it, because maybe there's an underlying, you know, maybe you've got to watch um, what kind of foods you're eating. If you're eating foods that are, you know, high in toxins um, and inflammatory foods, that inflammation can also lead to headaches and migraines as well. But honestly, right off the bat, when we start addressing posture, that's a, it's an easy fix in the sense that, oh, it's just posture, right? The hard part about it is it takes time to create these new um, habits, right? Any habit we ever, you know, try to make, um, we fall into our own patterns. And so we've all heard me talk about fascia before. And so if we're used to being rounded forward and or jamming our shoulders down and back, like whichever direction it is, most, for most it's forward, right? Then that fascia has kind of set its ways to go forward. So the idea that to just all of a sudden think that you're just gonna lengthen up and have this perfect, perfect posture, it's not gonna happen overnight. So the very first step that you have to take is awareness. It's the very, very first thing. And so I'll tell, what I recommend with that is, you know, maybe write it down, put it on a sticky note. If you're on your computer a lot, put that there so you see it, so it's right in front of you. Better yet, tell the people that you spend most of your day with. Um, and if you work from home and you don't have a lot of people around you that you work with, that's fine, then set an alarm on your phone. Do whatever you can to remind yourself that sets little reminders of, hey, what's my posture? Am I sitting at my computer for too long? I need to get up and move around a little bit. So, because that's the very first piece. We have to start really thinking about how are we standing? How are we sitting? How are we moving? Which, again, you've heard me talk about a lot. But because that fascia, through our chest is really pulling us forward, and then we wanna really work on lengthening upward, it's going to take time. So just know that right off the bat that that's normal. That's normal. But these little baby steps along the way will make huge results for your body. Now, when I talk about that mid-back, where I said before, you know, one of the cues I like is that bra line, that mid-back below your shoulder blades, because that's a piece that I have found through all my years of training. When I start to get my clients to realize that they need to work that area of their back, so many of them are like, oh my gosh, I never even knew I had muscles back there in my back, right? So when we think of our mid-back, and again, if you're driving and listening to this, you can do this. If you're out for a run, you can do this all while you're doing anything and just listening to the cueing that I'm giving you. And that is, we wanna think of our shoulders to be nice and just relax. So let your arms just kind of hang. Um, and if you're running, actually, why don't you stop and take a walk for a second? It's probably hard to do all of this while running. Um, and just let your shoulders just kind of float. And initially, it can feel really awkward because our upper traps want to like constantly kind of pull those shoulders up. The chest wants to pull the shoulders forward. So we have to be kind to our body. And if you think about letting your shoulders relax, the first initial thing that everybody wants to do is they want to like try to jam them down and put them wherever it is they think they want, they think they're supposed to go. Don't do that. Just wherever they go. I don't care if you let them relax and you're still forward. You're like, yeah, there's no mid back happening for me. That's okay. Very common, very normal. But awareness is the first step here. So if we start to think about this connection from the base of our pelvis all the way through the top of our head and we start to lift from that mid back. Okay, so if you're watching the video, I'll point this out. It's like right through here. You can see through this white shirt that I've got on, like where this bottom of my teal sports bra is. It's this whole area right here that we really want to think about. That's what's helping to support our shoulders, support our spine, our upper spine, support our cervical spine, and support our head. When we change our reference of what's actually holding our head up, then all of a sudden we can start to work that area. 
Okay, so when you, you know, go to the gym or do a next workout, I want you to bring awareness to that. A lot of times when we do upper body um, exercises and things, we tend to overuse the traps because we're in that forward position. The more you focus on just letting your shoulders and arms just relax when you move your body and you're lifting up tall through your torso, through your entire body, and we start to feel the mid back to support us, then before you know it, your chest will start to open. Your shoulders will start to go where they're supposed to go. But again, it doesn't happen overnight, but you have to start somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and show all of you a couple of things and I'll talk you through. So again, you can definitely listen and just do this. So one thing I wanna show is a roll up. And yes, I've changed the name of these. I've always referred to these as roll downs and I'm like, they're not a roll down. They're really a roll up because the work is on the way up. And it's really all about getting you to connect through your full body. So this one, yes, it addresses your mid back a lot. It's also going to address a little bit of your full body. But the one thing I really like about doing these roll ups is that you can really focus on articulating your spine and be able to feel your mid back. And it's something you can do without any equipment at all. Okay, so I'm gonna talk you all through this. So if you're just listening, I want you to just stand with your feet hip width apart. Sometimes I like to walk in place. So that way you stand and, and then look down at your feet. If one's way turned out, bring them underneath your sits bones. And so when I cue hip width, it's not, go, don't go out to where you think your hips are out to the side, go right underneath your pelvis, right underneath your sits bones, okay? Then from here, uh, I want you to relax your shoulders. So this is one biggest thing that I see a lot of when we do these is the, we initially wanna roll the shoulders up and back. And I actually want you to not use the shoulders in this move at all. And again, it's, it's changing the way we think about our movement, but I promise you that you can do it. it you, it's probably a little sloppy the first couple times, but just bringing awareness to the fact that I don't want my shoulders up and back. When we roll our shoulders up and back constantly, I notice that it creates tension for my clients up in the neck. So it's all about retraining and learning how to use the muscles deeper in the mid back and underneath your scapula. Okay, so when we do these, you wanna stand tall and then tuck your chin slowly and you wanna roll all the way down. And I say all the way down, roll as far as it feels good for your back. So I'm not gonna go as far as I can go right here if you're watching. I want your head to just hang, let your shoulders relax. And I know that's hard, it's really hard to be able to do that initially, but if you can think about your feet pushing into the ground, lightly pulling up on your hamstrings, using your glutes, so you're supported in your, in your pelvis and your legs, right? I don't want you falling over. And then take a couple deep breaths into your back. And notice if you can try to get some breath up into that mid back area, that kind of bra line area that I talk about. And then with each, with each breath too, try to let your head hang a little bit more. Because if we're really, really tight in our upper traps, we can tend to want to pull the head out like this, which is creating a lot more tension up underneath the base of our skull, which could really be a culprit for a lot of people's migraines and headaches. So a couple deep breaths. Then when you go to roll up, you want to exhale, zip up through the belly so we're active. And right here, instead of letting your shoulders roll up to your head, let them just fall back and use the mid back, use that mid back to lift you up. So when you get all the way up, you've just come up and you've, you've led with the mid back versus this. Because if you notice, and this is one you can do even if you're just sitting, is when you think about drawing the shoulders up and back and try to lift, you really, it's really hard to activate that mid back. But when you think, and if you wanna do this one just seated, you can do that as well where you can just Tuck your chin a little and then lift up through the mid back. So you're lifting, like basically lifting your chest, sticking your chest out using your mid back. Now try to do it when your shoulders come up and back, it's not the same activation. So we have to retrain the way that we move our body, the way that we activate our body, but is completely possible. So again, a more modified version is just even, you could do this seated or again, just letting your head fall so that you're not going very far, but just enough to feel that stretch in your mid back. Take a couple deep breaths, letting your chin just fall to your chest and then exhale, just lift up from your core, from your mid back, not your low back. We're not using the low back. We're using deep core, right? To lengthen our spine. Then we come up and we just let our shoulders just relax and they should just fall in a nice 
spot where we don't have a lot of tension because that's the biggest thing. If we're always forcing and trying to be like, oh, I want my shoulders to go down, but we're forcing them, it creates this oppositional tension. Or at least that's what I find with my clients. So the more aware you can initially become, and you can do this when you're sitting at a desk. You could sit on an exercise ball or now you can buy like the wobbly chairs that, you know, you have to be a little more straight because if you are all the way forward like that, you would literally have to like hang on to your desk or you would fall over, <laughs> right? I see it, they use it in schools, which is really great. So it's good core work, you know, and things like that. And I also emphasize like standing, use a standing desk and try to get it to a height where you have to really like open, expand your chest and use that mid back. We've got to really watch this, you know, when we're with our phone and the shoulders are up and forward, okay? So I want to show a couple moves with an exercise band. So you can do these anywhere. And I picked an exercise band because this is super simple in the fact that exercise bands are really affordable. You can, you know, go to Target and get them. Um, and the one I want to show first is just a nice, easy stretch for the chest. And also speaking of chest, when we are, you know, rolled forward, don't be afraid to work your chest a little bit. I go do some wall push-ups to kind of get the chest muscles stimulated to then help you to open it up as well. Okay? So it's also good to make sure that we bring blood flow and stimulate the areas that we do want to open up to help to encourage to create optimal posture. Okay, So with the band, this one's really easy, just stand with your feet hip width to shoulder width apart, bring the band out in front of you. Elbows have to be soft on this, okay? And I want you to first just let those arms pull out lift your chest, like you're doing a little row. So we're starting to think about, okay, shoulders are just drawing lightly towards each other. We're not jamming them, using our mid back and opening lightly our chest. Okay, so we kind of get some stimulation in that mid back and then we can start to bring our arms up and over. Now, when you push into the band and we get that opposition um, from shoulder to shoulder. Now, if you're really tight in your chest, you may not be able to go very high. That's okay, let your arms fall down. Exhale, zip up through the belly, open the chest and press. So you feel this outer part of the deltoid and shoulder and this should go down and around underneath your scapula here. So this is the area that we really need to think about working when we're working our shoulders. So I'm gonna show something and talk you all through this. So if you take your arm down to your side, lift tall. So even if you don't feel your mid back, start to visualize your mid back working. First step, awareness, visualization lifting up tall. Now with your arm, feel as though you're trying to like scoop it down lightly towards the ground out in front of you. Now notice when your neck or traps start to take over um, and try to get underneath the shoulder blade. And you can even put your other hand under there and try to bring it up while lifting your chest, looking out in front of you. See how high you can take your arm without it just wanting to tense up and go up into your neck like that. So if your hand, opposite hand is underneath your shoulder blade, out by your ribs, and you start to bring your arm up, you will feel how your scapula glides down and around. So that's one other big piece that we need to talk about with the shoulders. So we want to simulate some activation with some easy band work. That's simple enough, right? Do it at home, do it while you're traveling. But when we want to think about all this area underneath our shoulder blade, so you can just put your hand underneath there as you start to bring the arm up. Now, challenge yourself to see, okay, lifting the chest, looking straight ahead, feel that mid back. You may almost feel like you're really sticking your chest out, that's okay. And start to feel how your shoulder blade kind of rotates forward as you lift and then you start to create this expansion across your chest. So I'll show it this way too, those of you watching is when you bring, and I'll do it with the other one, is when you bring your arm up, right, we want to watch that this doesn't happen, but it's lifting. So what's happening through here, through our ribs, through our thoracic, mid-back, is as that arm comes up, when you start to feel this to come forward or this happening, you're like, okay, can I reconnect here? So try to find that mid-back, lift the chest, then try to go a little bit higher. And again, you may not be able to go all the way up, but that's you know, a good, a good goal to aim towards is to be able to bring those arms all the way up by your ears to really feel this wrapping around the ribs and lifting. Now, it's no easy task. 
Um, unless you're a super hyper mobile, um, and if you are super hyper mobile, I recommend that you really work on strength more. Um, but for many and many of us that sit, and I definitely find myself in these patterns from time to time, you sit a little bit too long and you're like, oh my goodness, I've got to stimulate that mid back a little bit more. So with those arms, it's a good test. It's like, how far can I bring my shoulders up? And again, maybe it's something that it's not feasible for your body, but if we bring our arms up, deep breath, exhale, let the, let the ribs just wrap, let our shoulders just fall, not jamming them, but you let them fall. And our scapula do this nice little like rotational movement, right? So if we can think, we're not just moving up and down, but we're rotating. That's going to also help you to find your mid back. It's going to help you to find those spiral fascial lines that I've talked about before. Okay, one more I want to show everybody with the band is with an exercise band over a door is how to do some easy pull downs. And these are really effective because you've all heard me talk about apposition through the body, right? That's really good to stimulate fascia. These are really, really good too because it helps to, it's a simple exercise you can do at home, but it gives you some tactile cueing that's really gentle to find those mid back muscles, to expand and open your chest and to just get stronger and taller. And a really good posture one, it's one that you could do on a daily basis, um, even before a warm up, um, before, as a warm up before a workout, um, before you get started with your day, break it up in between your days when if you're sitting a lot. It's always good to do some of that extension and lengthening exercises. So find a door in your house, grab an exercise band. You could also do this with a towel as well. You just place it up over a door and then you want to stand nice and tall, feet hip width to shoulder width apart. Now, this is where, when I've talked before about with posture, pushing energy out through your feet into the floor and then lifting up tall. So try to get a little activation through your legs, through your core, underneath those glutes very lightly. And now our focus for today is lifting that mid back. So when you're lifting tall through your mid back, and our arms are out in front of us, soft bend in the elbows, you want to exhale and feel the mid back to lift your chest. You can even bring your eye level up towards the top of the, the door like you're doing a little extension, but make sure you feel the front of your ribs lightly working. And then inhale, bring the ribs up over the hips and lightly release your arms, but don't release your core. So it's exhale, zip up the belly, open the chest, feel the back of the shoulders lightly working, but mostly into that mid back not your low back. Inhale to come back up, ribs up and forward. So when we're doing this, the key is it's giving you this fascial opposition. So you want to visualize like we're creating space between each vertebrae of your spine. And this is a really good go-to exercise. And I always recommend using a lighter band is always better because the goal is not to have a lot of resistance. And that's one thing I'm really finding with trying to tap into these deeper layers is less can actually equal more. And when we really turn our focus inside our body and what we're feeling and how things are working, then it's amazing what our bodies are capable of. So start really just focusing, bring some awareness to how you're sitting throughout your day, how you're moving. Um, again, I know I talked about posture, but this mid back part is a really, really big piece because it can really help so many, again, getting rid of the aches and pains. And again, if they're not there today, it doesn't mean they're not gonna be there down the road. So let's go ahead and start preventing this stuff as soon as we can. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Um, for more, check out everything at ericazeal.com.